Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are on the topic relations, mapping and functions. In the previous video, we looked at relations. In this video, we are going to look at mapping. So what is a mapping? A mapping is a relation in which each member in the domain maps onto only one member in the codomain. Based on this definition, we can say that one-to-one -one relation and many-to-one -one relations are mappings. In the previous video, we looked at what a domain and a codomain is. From that video, we saw that if you have a one-to-one -one relation, one element in the domain maps onto only one element in the codomain so it satisfies the definition of a mapping because it says that each member in the domain must map onto only one member in the codomain in the same way if you have a many to one relation each member in the domain maps onto only one member in the codomain so here four has only one image which is two six has only one image which is two eight has only one image which is two and 12 has only one image which is 2 15 has one image which is 5 and 25 also has only one image which is 5 so all these two are examples of what we call a mapping in the previous video on relations we saw that relations when you have two sets they can be linked by a word statement and that word statement is what we refer to as the relation the connection between the two sets is what we refer to as a relation on mapping in mapping to members of the two sets can be linked by a mathematical statement in this case it's not going to be a word statement by but it's going to be a mathematical statement and that statement is referred to as the rule or the formula in this lesson we are going to consider two types of mapping we are going to consider the linear mapping and the exponential mapping so when you have these mappings you are going to see how to find the statement that is linking them or how to find the rule or the formula that is linking the members of each set let's begin with linear mapping in a linear mapping the, diff the difference between consecutive elements in both the domain and the codomain is constant. We have seen from previous slide that one-to-one -one relations and many-to-one -one relations are mappings. Basically, we are going to consider one-to-one -one relations. So, in linear mapping, we say that the difference between consecutive elements in both the domain and the codomain are constant. Now, this is what we mean let's look at this mapping you can see that this is an example of a one-to-one -one relation so it's a mapping so one maps onto one two maps onto two three two maps onto three three maps onto five four maps onto seven and five maps onto nine now we are saying that if it is a linear mapping this is the condition the difference between consecutive elements when you say consecutive element one two so you see one after one you get two after two you get three one and two two is said to be consecutive after one so one two three so consecutive elements from one you move to two from two you move to three that is what you refer to as consecutive we are saying that the difference between consecutive elements in both the domain and the codomain is constant the difference what is the difference between one and two it's one right the difference between 2 and 3 is 1. The difference between 3 and 4 is 1. The difference between 4 and 5 is 1. So you can see that between two consecutive elements, between 1 and 2, between 2 and 3, the difference is constant. It's not just for the domain. So in this case, this is the domain. It's also constant for the codomain too. So for the codomain too, you can see that the difference between 1 and 3 is 2 difference between 3 and 5 is 2 difference between 5 and 7 is 2 difference between 7 and 9 is 2 so if it is a linear mapping then the difference between consecutive elements in the domain and consecutive elements in the codomain 
must all be the same or must be constant they don't necessarily have to be the same so the difference between consecutive elements in the domain can be different from different between consecutive elements in the codomain but what we mean that here you can see that for the domain the consecutive elements the difference between them are one for the codomain the consecutive element the difference between them are are two and it's constant for both the domain and the codomain when you have this we say that you have a linear mapping let's look at another example looking at this example you can see that difference between 0 and 1 is 1 difference between 1 and 2 is 1 and it continues it's going to be 1 1 1 for all of them difference between 2 and 5 is 3 difference between 5 and 8 is 3 and it's also going to be the same for all of them so we see that this is another example of a linear mapping so once you are satisfied that it's a linear mapping how do we find the rule or the formula that describes the mapping the rule or the formula that can join members of the two sets members of the codomain to members of the domain the rule of a linear mapping with elements in the domain denoted by x and elements in the codomain denoted by y is given by y is equal to a x plus b where a and b are constants now what do i mean let's look at this example if in this example you can see that we first have x maps onto y then we have elements in the domain and elements in the codomain so we are saying that we are describing all elements in the domain by the variable x then we are describing all elements in the codomain by the variable y so what this statement is telling us that when you have something like this when all elements in the domain is described by x and all elements in the domain is described by y then the rule is given by y is equal to a x plus b a and b are the constants that you have to find since we know that y and x are the variables that we have here y and x are what changes if you watch the video on algebraic expression you understand constants and variables so y and x are what changes here we have to find a constant that does not change now how do we do that let's pick some examples and see how this is done so in this case how do we find a and b a is given by the constant difference of the codomain divided by the constant difference of the domain i hope that is clear so if you want to find a you are saying that this is the constant difference of the codomain divided by the constant difference of the domain so in this example if you want to find a you first have to find the constant difference of the codomain and we divide it by the constant difference of the domain the constant difference of the codomain here is 2 the constant difference are 2 2 2 2 so it's 2 the constant difference of the domain is 1 so in this case a is going to be 2 over 1 which is 2 it's easy right now how do you find b b can be found by putting an element and its image in the room let's make an example and see how this is done so we are saying we are going to, to find the rule of the following mapping so we have a b and c let's pick the first one a so we have x maps to y then we have been given some elements and their elements in the domain their corresponding images in the codomain i'm going to bring it here so that you can do the solution here so what you do first is that you write the general rule we are saying that the general rule for a linear mapping we are satisfied that this is a linear mapping this was the example that we were considering in the previous video so when you are giving the question first check and see if it's a linear mapping and it's a linear mapping because we already know that so you write the general rule, which is y is equal to a s plus b now all you need to do is to find your a and find your b then you substitute them in this equation very simple so let's find a we are saying that a is given by the constant difference of the codomain divided by the constant difference of the domain the constant difference of the codomain is 2 constant difference of the domain is 1 so you get 2 now how did i find this you can see that to find the constant difference you can take an element then in the domain in the codomain here and you subtract it from the previous element in the codomain so when we take 3 you subtract 3 from 1 that will give us you subtract 1 from 3 that will give us the constant element in the 
codomain. If you want to find a constant element in the domain, you can also take an element in the domain and you subtract you subtract the previous element in the domain from it. So in this case, when we take two, we can subtract one from two, and that will give us the constant element in the domain. I hope that is clear because a is saying that a is the constant element of the domain divided by the constant element of the codomain. I pick the first two because they are usually smaller and easy to handle. So it's always easier to pick the first two elements. So I pick three and one, then two and one. Remember that they are dividing. So it's three minus one divided by two minus one. Three minus one gives us the constant element in the domain. Two minus one gives us the constant element in the codomain. Somebody can decide to pick 9 minus 7 divided by 5 minus 4 is the same thing. Another person can decide to pick 7 minus 5 divided by 4 minus 3. It doesn't change anything. It's the same thing. And we are getting 2. So after you have 2, you already, we now know A. You substitute A in the equation here. So when you substitute A with 2, you are going to have Y is equal to 2X plus B. We have found A. Now, let's move on to finding B. In order to find B, this is what you do. You pick an element and its corresponding image of the mapping and you substitute it into the equation that you have. Now, this is what I mean. You come to the mapping and you pick an element and its corresponding image. Once again, I'm going to pick the first one because usually the first ones, the numbers there are smaller and they are easy to handle. So we can say that from the mapping here, when x is equal to 1, y is also equal to 1. Because when x is 1, y is 1. Now, if you have this, then we can substitute it into this equation and find b. Because we know that y is equal to 2x plus b. So if y is equal to 2x plus b, right now we are saying that y is 1. So you can substitute y with 1. It's equal to... 2x, we know that 2x is the same as 2 times x, but we now know that x is also 1, so 1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus b. We can simplify and find b. That will give us 1 is equal to 2 times 1 is 2 plus b. So we can see that b will give us minus 1. So we now found a, we found b. So the rule is now y is equal to 2x minus b because right now we have found b to be minus one so you place b here with one minus one and that will give us y is equal to 2x minus b with this rule we can find any element in the domain and any element in the codomain so let's say that if x or the element in the domain here is five all you need to do is to replace x with five so you are going to have two times five minus one 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 1 will give us the corresponding image here, which is 9. If this question tells you to find y when x is, let's say, 20, all you need to do is to replace x with 20 and you can find y. If the question tells you to find x when y is, let's say, 15, all you need to do is to replace y with 15 and you can find x. It is that simple. Let's consider the next example. We have x y here and we have been given the function so once again i'm going to bring the mapping we have been given the mapping sorry so i'm going to bring the mapping here so that we can find it so so what you need to do is to first write your general formula then you find a we are saying that a will give us the constant difference of the codomain divided by the constant difference of the domain so i'm going to take 5 minus 2 divided by 1 minus 0 and that will give us 3 divided by 1 which is 3 so we can replace a with 3 so y will give us 3x plus b now with this all we need to do is to pick an element and its image so as i said i always like to pick the first one because the numbers there are usually smaller and easy to handle so i'm going to pick when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 then i substitute that in this equation to find b so we are saying that y is 2 so i write 2 here is equal to 3 times x x is now 0 so 3 times 0 plus b and b will give me 2 so all i need to do is to replace b with 2 so y is equal to 3x plus 2 it's that simple let's consider the next example 
so we have the mapping here i'm going to bring it here so that we can write the solution here so you quote the general rule which is y is equal to a s plus b so the next thing we need to do is to find a a will give us so it's going to be the constant difference of the codomain divided by the constant difference of the domain constant difference of the codomain i'm going to pick the first two elements so i'm going to have five minus but don't forget that this is already minus so i'm going to have five minus minus one divided by three minus zero five minus minus one will give me five plus one then three minus zero will give me three so this will give me six over three which is two once i found this to be two all i need to do is to pick an element and its image and see how to find b i substitute it here to find b so when y x is zero y is negative one so i'm going to replace y with negative one replace x with zero so negative one is equal to two times zero plus b so b will give me negative one so i just substitute negative one in place of b and that will give me y is equal to 2x minus 1. once again with this rule you can find any image when the a certain element has been given to you so here let's say the question tells you to find y when x is 23 all you need to do is to replace x with 23 and you can find y thank you for watching this video on mapping Take more examples on finding the rule of linear mapping and try your hands on them. Interact with me on my social media handles if you have any problem. See you in the next video where we look at how to find the rule of an exponential mapping. Bye bye.